Tonight's top EU stories from the unit website include Cameron organises radical crackdown on tax avoidance Lord Lawson says he will vote to quit the EU A session talks with Turkey stalled as costs to the EU rise Political fracture grows in Italy as anti-EU sympathy grows Plus, in your letters, why the case is altered I'm Rick Timmis, and this is the Unit Nightly News. First up, from our homepage. In a letter to Herman von Rompuy, the President of the European Council, Cameron said he hoped the Council would use a meeting of EU leaders on May the 22nd to push increased cross-border tax reporting and transparency and improve tax collection in developing countries. We must break through the walls of corporate secrecy, Cameron said in his letter. Pardon me, DC, but I think you'll find the global corporates simply relocate themselves and their funds outside of yours and indeed the EU's jurisdiction. So this plan will once again hit the little businessman and let the big corporates off scot-free. Perhaps we, the public, might prefer Mr Cameron to focus his attention on more pressing internal matters, such as protecting the public's... Sorry, you like to call them government-owned the public's assets, such as the NHS, and perhaps a letter to Mr Rumpoy telling him we veto state aid in favour of protecting our billions invested in the Royal Bank of Scotland. Lord Lawson has become the most senior Tory figure to call for the UK to quit the European Union, pledging to vote no in any referendum on membership. In a move that piles further pressure on David Cameron over the issue, the former Chancellor warned the Prime Minister's proposed renegotiation would only secure inconsequential concessions from Brussels. It does make you wonder what British ministers and peers do all day. Everyone else recognises that closing your door on global trade for a trading pact with an armful of neighbours is rather short-sighted. Here the word trade is a pretty loose term. This article in respect of the EU's relationship with Turkey and the country's potential accession to the EU makes for remarkable reading. It's clear that Turkey is a geopolitical hub and potentially a pivot point. Internal mismatch on human rights with the EU provides a key sticking point, but the desire by the EU to assimilate the country is strong due to Turkey's strategic location for both military and resources, primarily energy provision. The assimilation process is further hampered by tensions with Israel and, of course, the deep-seated resentment by the Greek Cypriots. The political canaries have started to sing of the impending European disaster. The Italian Prime Minister said, If the European summit in June results in a bureaucratic, routine, formal conclusion with a great abstract plan that needs two years to be implemented, we risk creating a climate in Europe in which the winning parties will be anti-European. Well, I can guarantee it will result in bureaucratic, routine, formal conclusion, otherwise known as political BS. In our letters section, I want to draw your attention to this very well-written piece. The case is altered from the campaign for an independent Britain. I quote... Looking back on the history of this movement and the sort of country we used to be, I was struck by the very great changes, many of which flowed from the ill-fated decision to enter what people called the common market. We had a country where political correctness had not made people afraid to speak their minds, but where good manners made it a rarity to hear bad language and never on air. A country before... Health and safety and the precautionary principle had caused teachers to ban children from playing conkers in the school playground. I think it's a phrase which perfectly describes our present situation. When CIB was formed and for many years afterwards, people who opposed the European project were slighted and disregarded and often subject to completely unjustified scurrilous abuse. 
the only people who opposed the wonderful progressive European economic community, it was said, were nasty people who hated foreigners and so no notice need be taken of them. Many thanks for your inspirational letter and do keep them coming. Today in our video library, as you know, we have written and produced a new documentary, Betrayed, which we have submitted to the Operation Paul Revere contest at Infowars.com. We thought it would be interesting to take a look at some of the other videos that have been produced, and so through the month of May, I will pick out a daily Operation Paul Revere contest entry and provide a link to it on YouTube. Now, speaking of YouTube, you could really help us a great deal with our documentary and contest entry by subscribing to our channel, rating our film Betrayed, either like or dislike, but I would prefer like, please, and most importantly, sharing it with as many people as you possibly can. So, without further ado, today's video, which I have added to our Operation Paul Revere YouTube playlist, is A World Torn by Aaron Sanchez. I'm Rick Timmis, reporting for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there, and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the e Unit. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. Are you looking for a public speaker for your event? Our public speakers are happy to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area at no cost. If you would like to add interest and value to your group event, then get in touch with us via the words section of our website. Join us in our live question time style online show, The Unit Interactive, broadcast live on our website, theunit.com, and globally via thehangoutshow.com. Join our community on Google+, and you can be part of the wider public voice, united in freedom, liberty, and independence. Simply join our community, the unit on Google+, links to the community page are below.